gang. So I've been studying parking in the city of Burbank for some time and trying to find ways, you know, to improve our parking situation here without having to go through the process of uh, adding more parking restrictions or uh, more signs and, and costs uh, because parking enforcement costs money. It's not free to have parking enforcement officers. People uh, have this seemingly invincible fallacy that uh, the tickets that they collect from parking violations pays for the for the uh, uh, salaries, benefits, health care for the parking control officers, and that's just not true. Um, those costs are not going to be covered uh, by by the tickets that are generated. And uh, so let's take a look at this. You know, first of all, you, you know, no offense to the neighbor is intended, but you know, mow your lawn. I mean, come on, it's a neighborhood. Let's uh, let's keep it looking nice. But this uh, vehicle is taking up two whole parking spaces. The person is parked in such a way uh, so that you know another person can't park in front of them or behind them. So the, the first thing we can do as a community is just have awareness. You know, let's have awareness that when you park like that, like this right here, that people can't park behind you or in front of you, you're taking away parking from someone else who might wanna park. And you know, be courteous. And guess if you're visiting our community, you know, do the same. You know, we everybody knows you're concerned about someone tapping your bumper, uh, but you're much more likely to get someone hostile and angry and key your car because you park like an a-hole than you are to uh, have somebody tap the rear of your car. So, you know, use common courtesy when you're parking. Thank you.